what is really good we are back with another pokemon sun and moon wi-fi battle just wanted to really quickly thank you guys for all the support you guys have been showing on all the videos uh this battle right here i had on my stream a few days ago if you guys ever do want to battle me uh just try to find me while i'm streaming and I, i'll battle anybody at random it doesn't really matter if you're subscribed to my twitch or not uh, if you type in the chat saying that you want to battle and post your friend code, there's always a chance that I might add you. So if you ever do want to battle, you can give that a try. Uh, but anyways, we're going to hop right into this battle. My man is going to lead off with his Greninja, and I'm going to lead off with my Delisopod. Now, I have two options here. It's either going to be Spikes or First Impression for me. Um, I do end up going for the First Impression, only because in my mind, I believe that he might have gone for the Dark Pulse. Uh, just, you know, predicting me to go for Spikes or something. Um, so I just stayed in and went for the first impression, which was not the best move because he switches out to this Arcanine and the first impression pretty much does nothing to it. Uh, but I do have the red card, so if he did decide to go for the Dark Pulse, he actually would have gotten switched out anyways. Um, so I definitely should have gone for the spikes there. Uh, big mistake on my part, but either way, I'm going to go for the spikes now on this turn. And uh, he actually misses the will o -Wisp, which is going to be very significant later on in the battle, honestly. So it was very, very lucky for me. Very unfortunate for him. But I'm definitely going to switch out here just so that I can avoid getting burned. Because I really do not want my Glyzopod to be burned. Because he has that Greninja as well as a Serena in the back. So uh, my Glyzopod can be very useful against those two Pokemon in specific here. So I'm going to go out to my Hydreigon so he can take the burn. Because he's a special attacker and it's not going to affect him as much as it would a physical attack in Glyzopod. Because that's how things work. Yay. Anyways, um, I'm going to go for the U-turn because I actually expected him to switch out. I didn't think that he'd stay in to take the Draco Meteor or the potential Draco Meteor. I went for the U-turn, but he just stays in and clicks Morning Sun, which is not a bad option because if he did survive the Draco Meteor, he would just gain all of his HP back on that same turn. So it was very smart for him to just stay in there. Um, but either way, my Hydreigon's purpose was just to take the will o -Wisp to begin with, so I wasn't even trying to kill the Arcanine quite yet. Uh, but here I'm going to go for the Earthquake. I kind of... I don't know. I... How do I put this? I went for the Earthquake because the Arcanine was sitting in front of my face. But at the same time, I think I should have gone for the Stealth Rocks. I'm not quite sure though. Because he does have a Rabbit Spinner. But my Gengar would stop him from Rabbit Spinning. Um, but... I only went for the Earthquake because I figured that this Arcanine would be very, very annoying to deal with if I didn't. So, basically, I was trying to... I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know if it would have been better to go for the Stealth Rocks on this turn specifically. But either way, I did end up killing him with the Earthquake. And I only say that because it, it was very difficult for me to set up my rocks uh, during this battle. He tried, pretty much did everything he could to, to not let me set them up. But either way, I do end up taking out the Arcanine, and he leaves me a burn as a battle parting gift, you know. Uh, and then he goes out to his Greninja and threatens me with a water move. But he's actually going to go for the U-turn, knowing full well that I'm going to switch. But he's not going to be able to switch out to the Pokemon of his choice, because I'm actually going to hit him up with a red card, and he's going to be forced to switch it to a random Pokemon, which happens to be Magirna, which is another Pokemon I can do nothing to. So I'm going to have to switch out here. I don't want to get Volt Switch. I don't want to get Floor Cannon. I don't want to get, you know, hit with anything that's way too strong for me to take right now. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out to my Magnezone, which can probably take any move this thing goes for, except for, you know, barring the Aura Sphere or something. Uh, but he's going to go for the Volt Switch, and it actually does a decent chunk, so I'm, I'm curious to, to what set he's running on that thing. Uh, but he's actually going to go out to his Garchomp here. I'm not going to switch, because I feel like a switch is extremely obvious. So I'm going to take whatever move he decides to go for that's not going to be Earthquake because I know he's not going to go for the Earthquake because I know that the Earthquake is too obvious. So he goes for the Dragon Claws. I stay in and hit him with a Choice Spex Flash Cannon. Look how much he lives with. What is that? That's like a pixel of HP, man. Just die. <laughs> uh, but luckily for me, he's actually um, Life Orb. So he's going to die to his own Life Orb recoil, which is good for me because... Uh, I don't know, I, I don't like dealing with Garchomp, nobody does. It's a very, very good Pokemon. It's always been a good Pokemon. It was even banned at one point. Um, so yeah, I was very lucky to actually end up taking out his Garchomp uh, some way, somehow. Uh, but I do lose my Magnezone in the process. But here, I'm expecting him to switch out here because I really, really figured he wouldn't want to lose his Greninja so easily. But he stays in, to my surprise. I don't know if he thought I wasn't Scarf. I don't know if he didn't care to lose his Greninja. I don't know if he predicted the U-turn. But either way, I was really, really surprised that he decided to stay in. Um, but I'm going to U-turn out to my Glycopod. 
as he brings in his pincer. Now, this is not good for a number of reasons. I don't have anything to hit this thing with. My only move that does neutral damage to this pincer is Aqua Jet. I have Leech Life, I have Spikes, and I have First Impression. So First Impression and Leech Life are out of the question because I know he's going to Mega Evolve, and neither of those moves will do, will do any kind of damage to uh, this pincer. But the Aqua Jet pretty much does nothing, and he's setting up Sword Advances right now. So instead of Aqua Jetting, I think the correct play would have been to switch directly to Mammoth Swine so that he wouldn't be able to set up more Sword Advances. Because even with uh, the burn, Ice Go Crash still does like 50%, I think. Something like 45 to 50%. So <laughs> if I had switched into Mammoth Swine last turn, he wouldn't have been able to set up another Sword Advance, and he would have been forced to kill me right on the spot. Because I'm pretty sure an Ice Go Crash. Uh, first impression combo would have definitely killed the pincer, but now that my mammoth swine's out I know he's not gonna set up another swords dance uh, during my stream I was saying he probably should have set up another swords dance, but now that I that I um, you know uh, Actually had some information uh, It was definitely the right play for him to go straight for the uh, quick attack and take me out Speaking of quick attack and taking me out he goes for the plus four quick attack on my hydragon and I barely live and I hit him with a Draco Meteor. I was so happy I lived because if I did, my entire team was getting swept. He was actually very surprised that he wasn't able to kill me with a plus four uh, quick attack. But doing the calc, I definitely had a very small chance to live and I actually did. So I'm very happy about that. I am going to die to my own burn. But the job has been done, okay? Hydreigon did what he was supposed to do. So out comes my Feromosa. His last three Pokemon are Greninja, Serena, and this Magirna here. So I definitely went out to Feromosa to try and catch one of the Pokemon that died to it in one hit. But he goes out to his Magirna, which is perfectly fine because the high jump kick is still going to do a ton of damage. Uh, and he's going to go for the floor cannon and take me out. But he is at such a low amount of HP that I'm not worried about this thing anymore. I do have the Gengar. I do have the Golisopod in the back. So I'm going to go out to my Gengar, hit this thing up with a Shadow Ball, and that's going to be the end of this Magirna. Um, now, the only Pokemon I'm kind of worrying about is Greninja, because if he goes out to his Greninja after I kill this thing... Actually, no. I had this in the bag at this point. I definitely had this battle in the bag at this point, because Golisopod would have cleaned up uh, for sure, because I had the Golisopod, which has the first impression. So even if he did go out to Greninja... Here, which he should have done. I don't know why he went out to Serena first because I'm definitely gonna just kill him with a shadow, uh, with a sorry, with a sludge bomb. Um, if he had gone out to Greninja first, he would have been able to kill me with a Dark Pulse. But at the end of the day, it really would not have mattered because actually, no, he definitely could have. I don't know. I think he had some options here. I think he had some options. What I would have done if I was him, I would have gone out to Greninja before the Serena, killed uh, Greninja. Uh, sorry, killed Gengar with a Dark Pulse. I would have brought out Serena as I switched into Glycopod, let the Serena take the first impression. I would have brought back in Greninja after Serena died and tried to Dark Pulse uh, the Glycopod and kill it with a life, orb dark, a life Orb Dark Pulse. That's what I would have done if I was him, but he didn't do any of that. He just went out to Serena, let it die to a Sludge Bomb, and then went out to Greninja and let it die to a first impression. So I don't know if he messed up. I don't know really. I don't really know what he was thinking. But I think that was his best bet. Maybe it wouldn't have worked, but I think he should have done that. I think that's what he should have done. He should have risked, um, I don't know. It's, it's just kind of weird, right? He didn't even have a chance because he went to Serena first. If he had gone to Greninja first, he might have you know, gotten a, a Dark Pulse flinch or something or, or, or just straight up killed me with a Dark Pulse, but he didn't even try that. So I'm not complaining, I won the battle. <laughs> but I think he could have played that a little bit better towards the end. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Gonna go ahead and put this team in the description if I can freaking find it. Um, but yeah, hit that like button, comment, subscribe if you guys haven't yet. And we'll be back tomorrow with something else. I don't know what it is yet. Maybe some Reborn, maybe some uh, VGC battles. Something. I'm out of here. Bye! <laughs>